today we would be synthesizing potassium trioxalate to ferrate 3. Potassium trioxalate of ferrate is a lime green colored crystalline compound. The anion is a transition metal complex containing the iron atom in plus 3 oxidation state with 3 bidentate oxalate ions and potassium is acting as a counter ion which balances the 3 negative charges of the complex. For the synthesis, we require the following chemicals. We begin the experiment by weighing out the chemicals. First of all, I am weighing out 3 grams of oxalic acid in this digital balance. After weighing it out accurately, transfer it into a 50 ml beaker. Now, add 12.5 ml of distilled water and dissolve the contents completely. Oxalic acid is easily soluble in water. We stir it thoroughly and if it does not get dissolved, we will warm the solution so that it gets dissolved easily. I am using an alcohol burner to heat it up. If you have a Bunsen burner, that would be much faster. The next step is to weigh out 3.8 grams of potassium hydroxide. Now, transfer this potassium hydroxide slowly into the warm oxalic acid solution. Care should be taken not to spill the alkali as it is corrosive. The next step is to weigh out 2.5 grams of ferric chloride. Here I have taken anhydrous ferric chloride and as you can see that the ferric chloride has absorbed moisture and has turned wet. Now, Transfer this to the solution of potassium hydroxide and oxalic acid and stir thoroughly to dissolve the ferric chloride in it. After thorough mixing, we now filter this to remove the excess unreacted ferric chloride and we collect the filtrate in this Erlenmeyer flask. You can see that the filtrate has a beautiful green color to it. Now we will be heating this solution to concentrate it and reduce the volume by half. We have concentrated it, now we will allow it to cool slowly in room temperature. And on cooling, we see beautiful green colored needle shaped crystals of potassium trioxalate of ferrate. After complete crystallization has occurred, we will drain out the excess supernatant fluid on the top and then we will scrape off this crystals into a filter paper to allow it to dry. Now we are scraping off the crystals on the beaker and we will be placing it on the filter paper to dry it. We can also wash it with alcohol to remove the excess impurities present in it. Finally, this is our yield of potassium trioxalate of ferrate. On drying, this is what we get. It's approximately 2.3 grams that is 70% yield.
Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell button. Bye.